In this video, we're going to create a new column in Power BI Desktop using some data that we've already imported in. Um, it's worth watching the series that I've created so far on Power BI so that you know the data set and you're familiar with it. Um, you can actually get it from my website and I'll put the link in the description below along with the playlist for this series. Now we've already got our data set um, which is called pupils which you can see over here and we've seen before that we've put some um, information into a table so for example I've used gender and um, I know how to format that to make it a bit bigger so I can go to our um, values section and make that um, data a little larger um, and also I can go to our column headers to make that a bit larger too so it's a bit easier to see. Um, so that's great and I've got and I know that I can bring through my um, my ID and I can count that um, so if I just bring that through and that's great but what I would like to do now is add a new field that will relabel the gender from F to female and from M to male and there's a couple of different ways that we can do that so if I just um, stretch this out a little bit here so one option is to go to the ellipsis to the right of the data set that we're working with um, and there's lots of different options here and the one I want is a column so I'm going to click on new column so Power BI will automatically call it column for me um, and you can see it, it puts an equal sign in so what it's expecting is um, some kind of formula here and it uses a formula called DAX um, this is an area you can get um, really advanced in, so, but we're going to keep it really simple for the time being. So I want to call this, um, um, I'm going to call it gender label for the time being. So if we um, start the formula, now it's, there's a lot of similarities between Power BI, the DAX and Excel, but there are some differences as well. So it would just take a little while to get used to it. I'm going to start with an if statement and it tells you, um, it's, again, this is very similar to Excel, what the, um, what the formula needs to be. So I want to say if um, the field name is gender, if gender equals, and then I want an um, F, I think I need to do a double quotes there. So if it's F, then give me female. Um, and then I know that the rest of them are male. So I'm going to put this for the time being, then male, and then I need to close my brackets. And I'm going to press return. And then I'm going to bring that gender label into my table and see whether that's worked. So let's click away from that. Yep, that's brilliant. That's done exactly what I needed it to. So the Fs are showing as female and the Ms are showing as male. So I'm going to just click on that table again. And now I'm going to take gender away so that I just have this, this label. So that's one, one way of, of creating your own column. The other way of doing it is to go into... Um, the you can edit the queries if I right click it go to edit query um, and then you can also add columns this way as well so the column I've already added in is um, isn't showing here um, so you can't see that gender label that I've put in um, so it's it, it's set up in a slightly different way so if I add a column and then I want to create a conditional column. And I want to say if the gender equals, um, and it's telling me whether it's a, a what options I have, if it equals um, female, sorry, F, then I want the output to be female. So this is kind of walking you into it a bit better it will still create that um, that output for me um, it, else if gender equals m then i want it to say male okay so i'm going to call this gender label two so we can see the difference gender label two so else and i'm not going to put anything there so I'm click on ok now what it's doing here is it's actually adding it into all of our steps so it's saved within these applied steps so if we just um, close and apply this, I should then get a new field showing in this table here. Yep, okay. So I'm going to check that against what I've already put in. So that's great. It's doing exactly the same thing. 
one of them is really writing DAX from um, from the start and the other one is just helping you to step into that. If I go to gender label two, which is what we did st um, second, there's no, you can see it's not actually created a, um, a new column. Um, so this is a, again a different way. It's then looks like all of the other all of the other fields so it's done in a in a, a different approach but you get the same output at the end so a couple of different options a fairly straightforward way to create new columns and new pieces of data for your table if you want to keep up to date with the rest of this series on power bi then you can click on subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications